In this part of the tutorial I want to show you all the basics about creating or editing a script. If you want to customize a website you have first switch to the edit mode. This can be done by either clicking on the status bar icon or by pressing F10. I prefer pressing F10. What happens is that the sidebar window is open with a form where all the information about the script will be stored and displayed. The content windows change in the way that the if you move uh, the cursor around the currently selected element will always be highlighted with a blue frame and the tag name will be displayed in the right upper corner. So you can move around and select the uh, element you want to modify and uh, then you can add an action. Let's say we want to remove this one here. I select it with the mouse and then I click and the context menu will be opened and I choose remove. I don't want to go into the details of this dialog. There's another session about that. I confirm that and you see you get an instant feedback of your action. The action was added to the actions tree view and what also happened is that a first include URL pattern was automatically added. This is not suited for our uh, case because here we have to remove the uh, variable part but customize your web helps you it also it already gives you some other choices with uh, already um, wildcards included so we choose, choose that one a double click confirms it uh, you can not only use the mouse to select elements sometimes it's difficult to select the correct element with the mouse you can also um, move the frame around with the cursor keys if you with the with the down arrow key arrow down key you select the next sibling element with the arrow up key you select the previous sibling element with the with control arrow up you select the parent element and with control arrow down you select the first child of the element. Let's have a further look on the form in the sidebar window. At the top of the form there is a menu list where all the matching scripts will be displayed. As we don't have any script recorded before there's only one entry and this entry is always there for a new script. You can give a script a name, for example, Google Search. This is only uh, for this is only visibility thing. You you uh, can now better find it in the select dialog. You can temporarily disable a script by ticking this checkbox. You can add multiple. Uh, URL patterns to the script and this can be done via the context menu, add item or by pressing the plus key. You cancel editing with the escape key. On the second pane of the sidebar window you find the corresponding list box for the definition of the exclude URL patterns. If an exclude URL pattern of a script matches the URL of a website, the script will not be applied. So the exclude URL patterns overrule the include URL patterns. At the end there are two parameters left. The one, the, the first, defines when the script should be executed. There are two possibilities. One, and that's the default one, is that the script will be executed before the page is fully loaded. Technically that's the DOM content loaded event and the second possibility is after the page is fully loaded wh which is the page show event. The default is the first one here but in some cases you have to change the default. 
The last parameter lets you define what should happen if the pages if with the website is changed via JavaScript. More and more websites heavily use JavaScript to dynamically change the user interface, for example Gmail or Facebook. By default, the script reruns every time the page is changed via JavaScript. You can deactivate this and say that the script should only run once when the page is loaded. You can control the rerun behavior on a more fine-grained level, that is on the action level. Let's edit this action. You see here at the end of all actions for which uh, this this makes sense to define is there is a menu list called repetition behavior and the default is that or for this um, for this action the default is it should be rerun every time the script uh, the the content pane uh, the content window is changed via JavaScript you can change that that it should only run once successfully. So at the end you only have to uh, save the script and the page is automatically reloaded and the script is applied and you see uh, um, up to now uh, from now on the ads are gone. So that were the basics about editing a script. Thank you for listening and bye bye.